Hey, what's happening guys? Got a quick and easy one for you today. I got asked a question about how to draw uh, custom PCB shapes. Not like the Christmas tree where I imported a drawing, but how to actually draw them yourself. So this is really simple, but it's not very intuitive how you do it. So let me show you. I've got a uh, blank PCB open here. And the first thing you want to make sure you do is set the ob your uh, layer to the board outline. Okay. Now we don't need that for now. I'm going to drag it off of here. So once we've done that, we know we're drawing on the right layer. Next, you want to grab this tool here, which is your canvas origin. That's going to set your zero, zero point. Boom. So now we have our zero, zero point. And we're ready to draw. So let's assume we know the size of our board is going to be a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter kind of like an octagon rectangle sort of thing. <laughs> so we can start by drawing tracks. That's actually what you use to draw these. So, zero. Let's start. like this now I'm going to massage these once I get the, the drawing kind of how I want it yeah, see I should have moved that down no worries whoops I said escape to go off there start again right here <laughs> I ain't much of an artist okay so there's my ugly board outline now once we've done that what we can do is we can just come in here we're gonna zoom in we can click on the lines and straighten them out so that we get our angles where we want them. Come here, you. Everything lines up. See, if you have an opening like this, um, when you go to export your Gerbers, it's not going to work. You're going to get an error. <laughs> so I know it's kind of crummy looking, but there it is. Now, another thing you can do, besides using tracks, is you can use arcs to draw your board. So if you wanted, say, um, a rectangle with curved ends, you can draw an arc like that, copy it, paste that, rotate it. Oh, don't do that. And then you can come in draw your straight lines. And fix it. It's, it's a really simple process, but like I said, it's not intuitive. I, when I first started doing this, I would have never thought to use tracks. Of course, that's why they have manuals, right? 
We don't use manuals. We're men. So there we go. Now, there's another thing that you can do, which is if you need like a large cutout in the board, you can use what's called a solid region. You can draw a solid region. And you can set it as a board cutout. Now, if we uh, take a look at this in the 3D view, you can see we have our board with a cutout. So, that's about all I got for you. Yeah, I hope that answered the question. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to all of you for being part of this community. That's it. I'm out. Peace.